All right, so I'm just walking up this hill at the end of a run and I want to encourage you guys in this like super quick little video to consider walking um, a useful training me method. Uh, as a runner, we tend to, you know, feel like if we're walking, we are, we're wimps or, you know, it's just like, oh no, no I can't walk. <laughs> But honestly, you gotta realize what, what is the purpose of your workout. That's what you gotta ask yourself. And for example, for most of the runs that you should be doing, it should be in an easy intensity uh, so that you can accumulate a lot of volume to train that aerobic system, which is the most important system for any endurance runner. So if that's the goal, accumulating time in an easy aerobic state, when you reach a hill, your heart rate is going to go up a lot, right? That's normal. Um, but then you're going to get up the hill faster. And maybe if your objective isn't really, again, to spike that heart rate up real high and work on your lactate threshold and all that stuff, but actually accumulating time, in that case, it's my, it might be better for you to actually walk the hill, stay in that lower heart rate zone, zone one, zone two, especially if you're in, on a recovery easy day, and then just accumulate more time. And there's also another thing to consider. Let's say hello here to the alpaca. Hi. They really like uh, dandelion. Check it out now. <laughs> Cute. Um, yeah, so it allows you to accumulate more time. And also you gotta realize that walking is necessary sometimes, especially in ultra marathons, especially if the gradient is very steep. Uh, walking is actually necessary. So if you never walk, you, you're not gonna be able to train your walking, right? Uh, training is very specific. The principle of specificity says that you'll be good at whatever you train at, right? So if you're running a lot, you'll be good at running. Uh, but not necessarily good at cycling, right? There's a certain amount of crossover there, but uh, you want to spend as much time training specifically for the sport that you're working at. And that goes for walking too. So if walking is a part of your sport, as a mountain runner maybe, as an ultra runner, uh, that I'm inspire aspiring to be ultimately at one point, well then walking is going to be an important list to some degree an important factor to train that's why I'm gonna do that there's more alpacas and that's where I live in the red house behind the white house anyway let's sum it up if you're on a hard workout if you're doing a hard workout and you're you want to stay in your lactate threshold zone sure you run up that hill and you probably shouldn't walk but if you're looking for time spent running if you're training your aerobic system, if you're in that base training phase, and the, the, the point is actually spending time running and in that easy intensity, and especially if you're on a recovery day, well then, walking on the hills uh, could be a good strategy actually to keep your heart rate down. And as I said, ultimately, train as a walker as well, because it is part of the sport if you're doing ultra running and mountain running. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing great. Let me know in the comments if you walk sometimes during your runs. Most of us do. Anyone who says they never do probably is lying or, or, or just being, or they're just extremely fit. Uh, but even then I would be skeptical if they said they never walk. Here we are at the farm. That's my parents' house there. That's my house. That's where I live with Mads. That's the barn, and our grandparents are behind there, the hill there. So it's a nice, nice place to stay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you around.